Hey all my fashionistas and fashionistas out there. It's your plus size fashionista. Mm-hmm. Yep. And um, if you guys aren't my friend on Facebook, liking my Facebook friend uh fan page, y'all are missing out like yesterday.com. Um I posted um a picture of this. And if y'all want to see how I feel about this, um, this is a review of this. So if y'all want to see the whole review of this, stay tuned and keep it locked, y'all. I am back. I am back. All my fashies, divas, and dolls. It's your number one plus size fashionista on the YT. Don't forget that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is a review of the Maybelline Dream Nude Airphone. And I want to give props and respects to my sis, Miss Baby Tigger 23. She's the first person I've seen that done a video on this. So, yeah, she's the first person I've seen done a video on this. And you guys know that's my big sis. We're close. We're like this. And, um... I got the specifics on it and how to use it and maneuver it way before I purchased it because I seen her video and we talked about it. And I'm like, I got to try it. So, yeah. Um, first and foremost, the retailers that's carrying this that I know of is Walgreens and Walmart. CVS, Rite Aid may have it. Kroger may have it, I believe, but I don't know. Um, but the only retailers I know that carry it as of now is um, Walgreens and Walmart. A little bit of uh, specifics on the price. Walmart is $8.99. Walgreens is $10.99. I went to Walgreens because I was looking for the um, Maybelline 24-hour tattoo pots. And since I was there, I was looking. I seen it. I got it. Since I was there, might as well. I don't want to waste a trip. So, what I can say is the presentation, I absolutely love this. Again, thanks to my big sis, Baby Ticket 23 She did a video on it. I think this video, I will do a vid response to that. So, all you got to do is, like, you can, like, after you see my video, you guys click her video or whatever. Majigger thing thing. I love the presentation. Now, those that, you know, haven't even, you know, maneuvered anything like this, it can be a little bit tricky. So, I'm going to show you guys how you maneuver it. Okay. When you first get it, you got to shake it up because this is an aerosol can and it is foam. So you got to shake it up however many times you want to shake it up, whatever, whatever. Okay, it has a little pump. All you do is pump it out. Now, when you pump it out, you don't want to pump it so hard that you get a lot of product out. That's your number one mistake. You want to do it really quickly and you're done. You put the top back on it. Now. You can do either one big pump or two small pumps. Now, when I first got it, I did two small pumps, and I split my face in um, in half, and I did one pump for my left side, one pump for my right side. But if you do a big pump, then it will cover your whole face, and it will cover it really good. And how I applied it was I used a regular foundation brush, and then I just used circular motions with well, my primary um foundation brush then I have my secondary foundation brush I use to blend my foundation in a little bit better then I use my stippling brush to you know polish the overall look of that then if I do want to use a setting powder of my choice I do sometimes I do sometimes I don't it just goes on preference okay what I can say because I know I'm gonna get questions of this so I'm gonna knock all y'all questions out of the box because I know you're gonna ask me okay Sandra is it does it have good coverage? I can say yes. It has medium to heavy coverage. Again, this is buildable. It is foam, you guys. And I was kind of skeptical at first. I'm like, hmm, but then when I seen my sister's video, then I seen her tutorial, then I'm like, hmm, okay, I'm going to try it. What What is it going to hurt? I'm going to try it. What I can say, it covers well. Damn well, I might, I may add. I will tell you guys. No one's skin is perfect. I have marks. I have a scar right here. You probably can't even see it that good because it covered it. But I have a scar right here. I have scars all right here. I have a scar right here. I have some scars on my cheek. I have scars on my other cheek. And I have a couple scars going up my nose. I have some scars over here on my forehead. When I tell y'all, I'm coming close. You cannot see not a scar, not a mark, not a nothing on my face because of this foundation. It is 
buildable. It has great coverage for a drugstore foundation. I love it. I can honestly say this is the best drugstore foundation I've tried ever. My whole life. Ever. I love this. It is great. I can say this will be a summer, spring staple of mine. This is very light, airy. It does not feel like I have anything on. But, you know, if you want to compare it to other um, foundations like cream and powder or, um, or liquid foundations, I see some, some liquid foundations tend to be heavy and you can feel it on your skin. This, I don't feel nothing, y'all. It feels so light, airy. It feels like I don't even have nothing on. It feels like my skin. It feels like it meshes so well with my skin. It doesn't feel like I have it on. Again, maybe because it's foam and how I applied it. How I blended everything out so it can be seamless and flawless. Again, that's key. Flawless. This is a matte foundation. So those that like dewy foundations, I can say after you do what I told you guys to do, you can use this product. And this is Elf's Mist and Set. It's else missing set, and you guys can um spray your face, and it give you this dewy look. Now I don't like that. I've tried that. I don't like it. I use this product to um give my um eyeshadow a little bit more, you know, luminosity, like so it could pop. That's what I did with this look. You guys want a tutorial for this look? Guess what? It's coming soon. It's a uh, my second video from my series of my Nicki Minaj or P.I. nail polishes inspired makeup look. It's coming soon, you guys. So, in case you guys are wondering about that, it's coming soon. Um, I love this foundation. Again, I got mine from Walgreens, $10.99. Just $2 more dollars more than Walgreens. But, hey, it is what it is. I say the $2 was most definitely worth it. I love this. This will be on deck. Those that are makeup artists that are looking for the newest, latest thing to add to your kit, this is awesome. What I do, since I'm MUA, I try everything first before I put it on my clients. I love this. I will get every shade of this for my uh, kit. And they have other brands that's like this, like the uh, uh, Revlon. I haven't tried that yet, but I will. And when I do, I will let you guys know that. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, yeah, you guys. I absolutely love this foundation. It's awesome. It is matches my skin perfectly and the color i am in is 350 caramel and it is air infused foundation nude perfect finish and this ugh, i'm sorry this does have spf 16 sunscreen so yeah that is awesome but before you do anything you want to moisturize your skin you want to put on a primer so you can prime your skin awesome that's all i can say you guys i hope you go out and try this out like i said <clears throat> I want to thank my sis, baby, Tigger23. Tigger, Tigger, y'all. Thank you, sis. Mwah, I love you. You're a genius. Thank you. I will be getting more of this. And I can say this will last you a lifetime. If you guys do what I told you to do and don't pump out too much of this, this will last you a lifetime. So, yeah. But I will stack up on this. So, yeah, you guys. I hope you like this review of the Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam Foundation. My shade is in 350 Caramel. It has SPF 16 sunscreen in it. And it is a 1.6 ounce little bottle. And I got mine from Walgreens for $10.99. You go to Walmart for $8.99 to get it. It's your preference. It doesn't matter. $2 is worth it for me because I love this. So, yeah. I want you to do one thing for me. Stay fly. Stay fashionable for less. Also, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel up there. Yellow button. More tutorials. More reviews more everything so stay tuned and keep it locked for your number one fashionista that's on the yt yes i said it yes i said it who gonna check me boo mm, nobody so yeah bye you guys Mwah. bye fashies